In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a system.io account to sell your digital products. We will set up a sales funnel and a link in bio style website. You can then place the link to the website in your Instagram bio or other social media profiles. The great thing about system.io is that it has a free account. It's not a free trial. It's a totally free account and you get all these features included. As you can see, it has three funnels, unlimited email sending up to 2000 contacts and zero transaction fees. Now you will need to connect a payment gateway such as Stripe or PayPal, and these will have transaction fees associated with them. But the good thing about system.io is that there is no additional transaction fees on top of that. Now, these are the steps I'm going to go through today, click by click. First things first, you need to sign up for a free account. Now, once you're signed up, you're gonna see this dashboard. The first thing you want to do is click on this profile picture here, then click on settings. Now you want to fill in all the details on this page. Once that's filled in, you want to click on save. Next, you want to Go over to the left hand side and click on the section that says payment gateways. Here you can connect any of these payment gateways to your account. I've already created a payment gateway for Stripe. So what you need to do is just click on connect and then follow the instructions that system.io gives you. So here it shows you how to integrate PayPal with system.io. You will need to log into your PayPal account and then go through these step by step. Essentially, you need to connect your API key to your system.io account. If you want to connect to Stripe, again, you click on connect. It would ask you to sign up or log into Stripe and then you'd go through the Stripe setup process and then that one will connect automatically. Once you've done that, what you want to do is head over to custom domains. Now this is where you add a domain name. Now, if you haven't got a domain name, you can use system.io's free subdomain. As you can see here, it will have your username or any name dot system dot io. And this is what you get out of the box. It's completely free. You can edit it by hovering over these three dots and clicking edit subdomain. You can then change the name here of what your website will be. Now, this is good if you want to start off free and don't have a domain name, but the best practice is always to purchase a domain name and use a brand new domain name. Now you can do that by adding the domain name. So once you've bought it, go over to here and click add domain. So you click on that, then you type in the domain name you want to add. Once the domain name is added, a pop-up will appear with the DNS records. Now we need to copy and paste this information into the DNS zone of our domain name provider. So we need to take this data and put it into our domain name provider. In my case, I used Namecheap to buy my domain name. So you can go over here, purchase a domain name. Once you've purchased a domain name, if you hover over account and go to domain list, you'll be able to see your domain names. So I've got one here. On the right hand side, click on manage. This will open up the settings for the domain. Then click on advanced DNS. It sounds daunting, but it's not, don't worry. This is your DNS records for your domain. You can see all the records here and you can see the CNAME records. I've actually already added it, but what you need to do is click add new record. And then we need to take this information here, but be careful. We can't copy and paste everything. So for the first part, we just need the www without the dot and the rest of the information. And then the other information on the right hand side, system.io highlights it here. So as you can see, just the www dot, the entire value, the host and the entire value here. So click on add new record. 
choose C name record. Now I'm going to paste in, type in www without the dot, then paste in the entire value from this record. So go back to system.io, copy that entire record in there. I'm not going to do it because I've already done it. Then add a second record, copy everything up to the dot, copy and paste that back into this section here. So I'll paste that in there and then get the second value here. And now copy and paste everything here, copy everything from that value and paste that into the target. Once that's done, click on the green tick to save changes. When you close the pop-up, you'll see the status is pending validation. It can take up to 48 hours for the DNS records to be propagated. But in my case, it took less than one hour, but just keep an eye on it. Once it does update, the status will show as ready to use. Now that the domain name is set up, you will also want to add your email address. This is the email address that customers will receive emails from, and this will be linked to your domain. If you haven't got an email address for your domain, you can also buy a mailbox from Namecheap. They go for around a dollar a month, 79p a month in my case for one domain, or you can buy multiple mailboxes. I normally get a info at email address, or you could get a sales at email address or use your name like bob at your domain.com. And then your mailbox will be linked to your domain name. If we head back to the settings in system.io and click on email, we can add in our business email address. To add an email, press here where it says click here to confirm your email address and then type in your new sender email and click save. The status will be pending verification because they will send a verification email to the inbox and you'll need to click the link in the email to confirm it's real and that it's yours. Once you click the link, the email will be verified by system.io and you can use it as a sender email. You'll then see your status as verified. Now you should have set up your system.io profile, your payment processor and your custom domain and email if you have one. If not, no worries, you will use your free system.io domain and free email. Now I'm going to show you how to set up the funnel, aka your website. So this is the dashboard, click on funnels and here you'll see a list of all the funnels. I've got a lot of funnels set up but if you've set up a system.io account for the first time you wouldn't have anything here and the free account allows you to have three funnels. So you'd have one, two, three. So in order to create a new funnel, click on create then give it a name. I'm just going to name it link in bio. Then on the drop down, you're going to have options where you'd have your free system.io account or any linked domains that you just set up. So I've got a linked domain here. I'm going to select that as my funnel domain. Now you can choose your funnel goal. I'm going to create a custom one. So I'm going to create custom then select a currency and click save. Now you'll see your new funnel created here. If you hover over the blue text, you can click on it and go into your funnel page. Now this is where we can create the website itself. So what you want to do is scroll down here and click add step. Now we'll give it a name. I'll just call it link and bio and the type. Now this is what the purpose of the page will be. Now I'm going to scroll down and select link and bio and this will give me all the templates related to link and bio. But you do have other options here. You have a squeeze page, you have a pop-up form, you have a sales page, you have webinar registration pages. Once you select one, it gives you templates related to that type. So again, I'm just gonna click link in bio, then click save. Now you can see all the templates here related to a link in bio page. I'm going to keep it simple and just select this one. 
and this is where you will name the page and this will be your URL path where people can visit the page. Now, if you want this to be your home page, delete that and now this URL and this page will be your home page. So if I click away, you'll see that a funnel step with the same path already exists. That's because I've already created a home page for this domain name. But if you don't, you just name it link in bio or give it something else. There you go, that's not used. Now edit page and we can start putting the website together. So now if you're familiar with any web design tools, you'll know that this is quite a fairly straightforward drag and drop software. So if you hover over anything, you'll be able to edit it. And when you click on it, you'll see all the editing options for that element appear on the left hand side. So if I click on this button here, for example, I'll be able to edit all the options. If I click on this button up here, I'll be able to edit these options. So now you want to customize this however you want. What I'll do is I just want one link, for example, so I can delete all of these other ones. So I click the bin or trash can symbol here and that would delete all of them. You can rename this so I can just click on it and then type over the text. You can change any of the colors. So for example, if I wanted to change the background color, I'll click on this section. You'll see the breadcrumbs up top to show you what has been selected. And now this doesn't have any background color, but I can choose a background color by clicking on here and then say having that black and then that would be black. I can also click on this image over here. Make sure that's selected scroll down here see it's got a background svg a vector graphic if i just remove that that would remove the vector graphic there's also another image up here i can just click on that and click delete and that would delete that image up top i also want to delete that get in touch so customize this how you want i won't make this tutorial too long so i won't go through every single element and block you can play around with it to build out your web page how you want. Essentially, you just drag items from the left onto the page to add it and select it to customize it. You can then click the trash can to delete items. What I do want to show you is how buttons work. Now this button will go to my sales page. So if I click on this button, you'll see there's options here. Action when button clicked, open URL, next step URL, download file, show pop-up or submit form. What I want to do is open URL because we're going to create a new page, then link that page to this button. We don't have a URL yet, but if you did, you type that in there. And once you're finished editing this, you can click save changes. Now, if you click on this button here, this will exit the page. Now that step has been set up. What we want to do is create the sales page and order form for the product. So we're going to add another step, Click on add step. I'm going to say sales page. And this, you can put sales page or you can do order form. I like to do order form just because it has a pre-made form on the page and then I can just add any sales copy on top of it. So I'm going to click save and again it will show you all the templates related to that page. I'm just going to select this one nice and simple and this is the URL path for this sales page. I'm going to call it faceless sales page. So if I click away, that saves it automatically. Now this is the URL path for that page. So what I can do is hover over this button, copy it to clipboard, go back to my home page, edit page, click on the button, now add the URL in here. So when I click on this button, it's going to go to the page that I just created. Now that page is unedited, so I'm just going to click 
save changes on that and then go back out of it select the sales page and now we can edit this page here you can see you can delete all of these options in fact I can delete this entire row and that deletes everything within the row and then here it's got an order form and this is where you can click and buy or add any other information now you can add in any sales copy and images above the order form just drag in some text or image elements because I've done this before I have saved an existing section as a block so I can just insert it onto another page to save a section as a block click on the save icon in the top right of that element as shown here now to retrieve the pre-made block click on the blocks tab and then click on my blocks now you'll see all the sections you've saved now just click and drag it onto the page it will insert where the blue line appears and then just release the click and it will be inserted i'm just going to also delete this top section because i no longer need it now i have my sales copy and my order form on the page i'll also just delete this footer because it doesn't apply to me and you can have frequently asked questions so with this if you click on a frequently asked question you'll see that you can customize the text here if you click this down arrow it moves it down the list so you can rearrange the order the grayed out eyeball symbol is the one selected and shows the answer to the question so you can edit the answer directly on the page don't forget to always save changes so you don't lose your hard work. Now I'm going to show you how to edit the order form so you get paid. Follow the next steps very carefully because if your order form is broken, you won't make money. Now we want to activate this order form. As you can see here, this is an example. Please add price plans in the step settings page. So we need to go to the step settings page. So if you click the exit button here and click leave, this is the step settings page for the sales page. Now, if you scroll down, you can see there's a question here, choose offer type. Now you can choose a digital product or a physical product. I'm going to select digital product and resources, resources which the customer will have access to after the purchase. So now if you click the plus sign, you can select a resource, course, course bundles, tags, or communities. I'm not going to add a resource here because I'm going to deliver the resource once they hit the thank you page and I'm going to deliver the resource via email once they've paid for it so i'm going to click this trash can button here to confirm that we don't need resources but we do need a price plan so i'm going to click the plus sign here and add a price plan so here choose a price plan type i'm going to choose a one-time payment choose an existing price plan i've got lots of price plans that i've already created but what you want to do is create a new one here and then I'm going to say faceless sales page just as an example oops price plan name displayed on your dashboard faceless sales page statement descriptor if you click on here this is going to show up on a bank statement Sometimes it might be too long because there is a character limit, but if I put faceless digital marketing, people are clear about what they ordered. And now I want to choose a price plan, which is a one-time payment. Here is where you add the amount. So I'm going to do 99 US dollars, then click save. Oh, see here, I knew it was going to be too long. So I'm just going to, reduce that down click save and now that price plan is applied to that page you can add a coupon if you want but I'm not going to do that for this video now if we go into edit page 
scroll down, you'll be able to see that the order details, the faceless sales page is now applied to this order form and you can see the price here 99 US dollars. So you'll notice when you hover over the payment button, you'll get the options. If you click on the options, you don't have any of the options that you previously saw on another button. You don't have the option for next step URL, open um, a resource or anything like that. One, when a customer clicks on this button, it automatically goes to a thank you page. So there's no way to edit where this button goes. So what we need to do now is save the changes and add a thank you page. If you have an order form, you always need to follow it up with a thank you page. So let me just save that again. Click out of that. Now we're going to add the third page in our three page funnel, which, as I said, is a thank you page. So I'll just type faceless thank you page. And then you've got opt in thank you page, sales. Here I want the sales thank you page. Click on save. Now I'm going to choose a super simple one choose this one I'll say thank you faceless you name it what you want now click edit page here so now you can reword this you can change the text or do anything you want to this page what I want to do is add a button here where I can deliver the PDF of the digital products that I'm selling or the PDF of links to my digital product. So what I'm going to do is on the right hand side, go to button and drag that in here. And I'm gonna click here and I'm going to reword this to say, access your purchase here. And then in the subtext, I'll say PDF will also be emailed. Or you can use the text here. You can say, look, check your inbox for everything we promised. So that is clear to the customer that once they purchased it, okay, it's gonna go straight to their inbox. We're going to set that up in a minute. Now it says, no, check your spam folder if the confirmation email doesn't show up. But we're going to deliver the PDF here once, as soon as they purchased it, they have instant access to it. So once that's done, I'm going to click on it again. And here, action when button clicked, I'm going to do download file now I'm going to put the file of the PDF that they have purchased so you can just simply drag and drop the file on there so I'm going to drag a file on there and that is here select insert now once they click on this button this file will be downloaded and they can have instant access to it so I'm gonna save those changes. Another thing I forgot to mention was that there's these icons out here. You can click on the mobile phone view to see what your template looks like on a mobile phone. It should be mobile optimized out the box, but if it's not, you can make some of those changes. But I'm going to go back to desktop view, click save changes again. Now go to exit. Now that is our three page funnel set up. But hold on, what we need to do is we need to send them an email as soon as they've purchased so that they can also get the digital products via email. So I'm going to go back to the sales order page, click on automation rules, and then we're going to add a rule. So go down here, add a rule, new sale, add trigger. So when someone makes a new sale, we're going to add an action. So I'm going to click on new sale. Then if you click the three dots here, edit automation rule. 
then I'm going to click add action so now when someone makes a purchase I want to send an email to a contact then it says choose email now if you've already got an email set up you can choose one from the drop down so I've got thank you for your purchase details inside or if you don't have one set up just click this plus sign here that says create email message so I'm going to do that to show you how it works and now we can build our email from here so I can say thank you for your purchase and then access your digital products here and then add an attachment or you can add a link or you can say see attached see attached for your goods and then again you can click and drag that as an attachment and then I've got my product links added there you can also change the sender name so I'm going to change that to faceless digital marketing or whatever name it you, you're going with whether that's your personal name or it's your brand name and then the sender email address is also one that I've set up then just save the email now we've got that set up I'm going to click save rule so now when someone lands on the sales page when a new sale occurs they're going to automatically get an email to say thank you for your purchase with the digital products attached now what I also like to do while we are here is add another rule and what we're going to do is add a tag so I'm going to go on not to add a trigger I'm going to edit this one and add another action to the original rule so click on edit automation rule and what I'm going to do is add a second action so I'm going to add another action and then use this one add a tag and the tag I'm going to use is I'm just going to start typing and it will create a new one I'm going to say product purchased Now you can make it a lot more descriptive if you have multiple products. You have to click this tick symbol to create a new tag. So I'm going to click that tick and that is now added. Now the reason you want to add a tag is so that in the future you can send targeted emails specifically to everyone who has purchased this particular product. So you might make a version two or you might make an upsell or a downsell and you want to specifically send a newsletter to these people. You can send a newsletter to all the people with this tag and they'll receive that email. Now I'm going to save the rule. So now you have created a new automation rule. If you click on new sale, you'll be able to see all the actions within that rule. So as you can see here, occurs when a customer makes a purchase, send an email to a contact and we're going to send a thank you for your purchase email. And then the second action is to add a tag and the tag is product purchased. So now when someone makes a purchase, they're going to get a welcome email with the digital products attached and they're also going to be tagged for future campaigns. So how are we going to create those campaigns? Well, if you want to create an email sequence, you can do that in emails. So hover over emails, then click on campaigns. And this is where you build out your email campaigns. So what I'm going to do is create a new one. So click create and then give it a name. So I'm going to call it, say a welcome email. We'll save that. Now, once you click on it, we can start adding the emails here. So what you want to do is click create 
and then fill in the sender name and the sender email. So then I'm going to click save. Now we can start filling in the body of the content. As you can see, it's got the sender name here, which is the name of your Instagram page or your brand name and the sender email address, which is the email address you connected to system.io. You could use ChatGPT for this. I have done that. So I've got a welcome email written here. I'm just going to copy and paste that in. So as you can see, dear customer name, congratulations of your purchase of digital product course. You can change that to your name. Now, if you scroll down, you'll be able to see all the personalization options here that system IO uses. So you can see first name. So what you do is you copy the first name here and then replace this chat GPT code for the first name. So this is going to be dear Bob, dear Mary, or whoever their name is. So congratulations on your purchase. We're thrilled to have you on board. Customize this however you want. Once you've done writing your email, click save and publish. Now it's going to say, this email will be sent after. So you can send this after a previous email has been sent, or if you just leave it blank, you can set a time for when this will be sent. So I want this sent maybe one hour after someone's purchased it. So I'm gonna click one and select hour. Time when email should be sent, no, days of the week when email should be sent. I'm gonna leave those blank. Then I'm going to click activate. This email is now activated. You should save and test it. Once you click save and test, an email will be sent to the email to the email on your account so that you can check that it works. I'm just going to click save and exit. Now I want to add another follow up email a day after this one has been sent. So what I'm going to do is click create again, fill in the details. I'll put welcome to for now. So fill in your sender name and your sender email. Click save. Now I'm going to head back to ChatGP2 where I've got the second email set up. And I'm just going to paste that in there. Hi, customer name. Again, I'm going to replace the customer name with system.io's customer name and just paste that in there. And then you can change the subject. ChatGPT has a subject name here. So you can say your next step with this digital product course. Again, add any attachments if you want to, but the customer should have already received their links to the digital products. So I'm not going to add any attachments here. Now I'm going to click save and publish. It's going to give me a time again. Now this email will be sent after I want it sent after the first email that I just created. So sent after my first welcome email, one day after. So one day after this welcome email is sent, activate. I'm going to save that and now click exit. Now you can see I've got my welcome email sent one hour after it's triggered and then number two, is one day after the first email is triggered. And now you can add as many emails as you want. Use ChatGPT to help you write an email sequence. And then what you want to do is provide value, 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 and then an upsell, value, 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 and then another upsell. So we've created this campaign here. So as we can see, we've got a campaign, it's called Welcome. We need to link this campaign to our funnel. So I'm going to go into our funnels, click on the link in bio funnel that we just created. I'm going to go on the thank you page. Then I'm going to add an automation rule. I'm going to click add rule here. And then I'm going to say page visited. So when someone visits this page, they're going to be added to that email sequence. So now I'm going to click on page visited, add an action, and then I'm going to say subscribe to a campaign and then link it to the campaign we just created. So choose a campaign, which was the welcome one. 
click save rule and now you have linked your funnel to the email campaign that you just created so if we click on that you'll be able to see occurs when someone visits a selected page once someone visits the thank you page which only occurs when someone purchases the product from you then they're going to be subscribed to this campaign and they're going to receive a welcome email one hour after purchasing and then one day after purchasing one day after the first email has been sent so now we have set up a three page funnel a link in bio landing page a link to a product sales page and order form page and then a thank you page we've set up an automation rule so that once someone orders from their sales page they'll be automatically sent an email with links to the digital products and then tagged and then once they land on the thank you page they'll be added to our email campaign sequence so they're going to receive follow-up emails where you can use that to add more value encourage them to buy more products or upsell or downsell any products that you may have so i hope you found this video useful feel free to click the links in the description so that you have access to all the software and i'll catch you in the next one